Okay, so this is the 1000 watt power supply. It's called the Regulator ATX 3.0 switching power supply. This is from Colec. It is silent design. Look that. It's also got a switchable semi fanless mode and it is ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 ready. So, and it is 80 plus rated. So, and this is a fully modular power supply. So, let's take a look at it, shall we? Okay, put the patch out the way. Okay, and so let's have a look at the outer box. So, they are the outputs. It's a max power 130 watts, that is the 3.3 volt rail five then that's for five volt 12 volt rail it is 996 watts so that's actually not bad so let's unbox this and have a look at what it looks like now this is the first 5.0 power supply i've actually looked at so this is the documentation by here Just tells you everything you need to know really, just tells you what connectors it takes. Obviously it just tells you the power supply connectors and everything like that. And then of course there's this then, which is the, it is, let's have a look, see. Right. It's the warranty, so you get three year warranty, which I'm sure that is quite odd for a thousand watt power supply, but, oh well. So you do get all these cables included. Right here, PCI, CPU, obviously it comes with this, then of course it comes with screws, and then there's the power supply unit itself. So, let's get this unwrapped and take a look. Okay, so this is the power supply itself, and it does have a 120mm fan, and overall the build quality seems okay. Personally, I don't, I would know how to actually test a power supply, because I haven't got the correct equipment here, but... There's all the output, uh, all the connectors. It does have the NVIDIA PCIe cable, a uh, 12 volt high power cable, but there. So at least that w this will work for RTX 3080s and 3090s, but personally I'd rather over a thousand watt for a f uh, 4090, sorry, 4080, 4090. In terms of cables, Okay, so in terms of the cables, right, so it does come with CPU, 8-pin, which does go to a 4-pin, that one's exactly the same. Then this is that high volt cable, which does, I've included, so rated for 600 watts, it's not bad actually, at least it's a included cable, because I'm, sure, I'm positive it's the cable mod cables that are having the problems. Then of course you've got this in, which is for your motherboard and so forth. Then of course then you've got like SATA, you've got uh, PCI, and then of course you've got Molex. What power supply maker does Molex in 2024? I don't know. So when it comes to this, it is 80 plus gold, so at least it's a gold rated. And to be honest, a hundred, I believe it's 150 quid for a, a thousand watt power supply. It's rather cheap for a thousand watt. I remember just 10 years ago for a thousand watt 80 plus power supply, you're talking 250 quid. Now, of course, these they will stand by the warranty. And of course, it's very small for a thousand watt. I've got a thousand watt here and it's about that big. So there's a big difference when it comes in, in terms of size. So, it does have this mode by here, if you press this off or on, it will put into a semi-passive mode, so it will just turn off the fan. Of course, it's got the on-on button, then of course, the standard UK uh, plug. Now, I can't really see the inside, but from the looks of it, it's got some heat sinks, of course, it's got big capacitors, it's got everything in it in there that you need for a good power supply and this will be used in the upcoming pc build i've got coming so yeah now obviously i haven't got any 40 series gpus here but 
this would be perfect for when I do get them into review. At least I wouldn't have to worry about that. So, yeah. So, well, I mean, look, it's a thousand watts. It's under 200 pound, which to be fair, just 10 years ago, to get a thousand watt 80 plus gold power supply just 10 years ago would be easily 250 quid, maybe more. Now, of course, this is um, ready for the new 40 series GP uh, GPUs like the 4080, 4090. I wouldn't really use a 4090 with this. I'd prefer to go a bit more, but I do know that for a little bit extra money, they do have a 1200 watt power supply on overclockers. So what I will do is I will leave a link for this down below for you guys to look. And this is actually handy to have around here when I need it for those GPUs. So as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like as well. And don't forget to comment. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and the following week ahead of you. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.